Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Zeus back with another video and today I will show you guys some incredibly useful iPhone automations and of course a step-by-step -step guide on how to create each and every one of those automations on your iOS 14 device. Now automations is an amazing feature of iOS. I believe it is underrated, not a lot of people use it and you can do some amazing stuff with automations. So let me show you guys some incredibly useful iPhone automations. All right, starting things off with an automation that will basically allow you to lock any app you want. Now for this, you will need to first go to settings and go to under accessibility, scroll all the way down to guided access, make sure you have that enabled right there, and then go to passcode settings and set a passcode right here. So let's just create a quick passcode here. And this is the passcode that we will use, of course, to unlock it. Now, what you need to do here is go to shortcuts, of course, go to automations and here tap to create a new automation. Tap here and what you need to do is scroll here and find app. So when you go to app, you can choose the app right here. Now, here we need to choose the app that we want to protect. So let's just start with messages first. So here we have iMessage click the dumb button and then you'll leave it at is open right here to tap the next button add action and just choose here guided access so start guided access click next and disable this here click done and now we're good to go now every time someone tries to open actually iMessage here you can see it will automatically enable guided access and you will basically be locked into this app. Now, what you can do here is triple tap to go out of the app. But what you should do once you do this for the first time, go ahead and tap on options. And right here, you can go ahead and even disable touch. So when this basically runs and someone's get into the app and we have guided access enabled, then they won't be able to actually not even touch anything here. It won't be able to go into any message, any photo or something like that, which is of course very, very useful. Next up, we have an automation that will basically save your ears. So if you have AirPods or any other like Bluetooth headphones, make sure that you use this automation to set a limit for the volume once you have those connected. So this is really interesting. Now, when you connect a Bluetooth device, it will usually memorize the volume. So if you have like maybe this device connected to a car Bluetooth and you have the volume all the way up, it will be the same when you basically connect to your headphones, AirPods or something else. And that might be very, very dangerous for your ears. So what you need to do is go to automations tap on create personal automation and then go ahead and choose Bluetooth here and choose the device. Of course, these will be the list here of the devices that you have on your Bluetooth list on the settings. So I can choose my AirPods right here and then tap next, add action and just search for set volume. Choose set volume right there and you can choose any percentage that you want. So once your device it is connected to that specific Bluetooth device, in this case, my AirPods, I will have this automation set the volume exactly at that percentage. Of course, that way I will protect my ears. Another really cool Bluetooth automation will allow you to choose which music app you want to launch once you're connected to your car Bluetooth. So you go to shortcuts, go to automations, and then create personal automation. Go to Bluetooth again and choose the device here. Of course, in this case, you choose the device of your car. So tap done right there, tap next, and then go to add action and go to scripting. And right here, go to open app, choose here. And all you gotta do is choose the app that you want to use. In this case, I will choose Spotify. So every time my device connects to the car Bluetooth, it will automatically open Spotify on my iPhone. On iOS 14, Apple has added sound recognition, a new feature that will notify you once it hears a certain sound that you can choose from the setting, like maybe babies crying or an alarm or something like that. Now, this is of course very important 
and it is good for your safety but if you keep it on all the time it will probably send you a ton of different notifications because if you're out somewhere it will hear a lot of different sounds and of course it will also consume battery but what you can do with automation is choose to have that enabled automatically only when you're at your home or maybe at work so what you need to do is go ahead tap the plus button create personal automation and then go to wi-fi right here and choose the wi-fi network of your home or maybe even your work now once you have done that you just simply click the next button and then add action right here and choose sound recognition Here we have set sound recognition and then activate, click done right here and you're good to go. Every time your iPhone will connect to those networks that you have chosen, it will automatically enable sound recognition. With the addition of the new power features on the automations on iOS 14, Apple has done an amazing job. They're really, really useful. So you go to create a personal automation and when you go here to battery level, you will have the chance to pick here the battery percentage at which you want to do something automatically. In this case, set low power mode on. You know that once your device goes down to 20% on battery, it will give you a notification to turn on low power mode. Now, if you don't want to see that notification, you can simply choose this at 20% and then it will automatically do that. Or you can pick any other level you want and your device automatically will turn on low power mode. So you can see here we have battery level equals 40 in this case, tap next, tap add action and search here for low power mode, set low power mode on, click next, click done, of course you're good to go another really cool automation that you can create is to set low power mode on automatically while you're sleeping i can do that by going to sleep here and choose bedtime begins tap the next button you can see how simple this is but it's really cool and very useful tap on add action and just choose here low power mode set low power mode on and you're good to go you can also create of course another one but you will choose there let's just make sure you go ahead and create that so let's create another one here you can choose waking up and then go to next and choose to set off low power mode so you do the same you search for low power mode here and just switch here to off and you're good to go always make sure that you disable ask before running so this will be done automatically every time you go to bed your device will automatically go on low power mode. Of course, during the night, you don't have to have your battery consumed. So of course, low power mode will save you a few like percentages of battery. So go ahead and do this. So every time you go to sleep, low power mode on automatically. When you wake up, it turns off automatically as well. And the last two automations will be very useful if you have an Apple Watch. Now what you can do is set your Apple Watch automatically to have a different watch face when you're doing something maybe starting a workout so you have a watch face that you like to have on while having a workout you can do that with automations so what you need to do is here apple watch workout workout type of course you can even choose that or just leave it at any workout click next add action and search for set watch face set watch face tap right there and pick from the watch faces that you have on your Apple Watch. And now of course, anytime you're starting a workout on your Apple Watch, it will automatically switch to that specific face that you have chosen from the list. And last but not least is an automation that allows your device to start playing certain music, a playlist or any song you choose when you're doing something like a workout on your Apple Watch. So you go to create a personal automation, you go Apple Watch workout. When it starts, all you gotta do is tap next and then play music, play music, tap right there. It will take you to your library and just go ahead and choose a playlist that you like right here, tap the little plus button. And now you can see anytime my device connects of course to the apple watch and it knows that it's starting a workout it will automatically start playing this playlist of course make sure you disable this click the dump button 
and just like that you're good to go so that is it for this video guys these are some amazing automations that you can create on your iphone running ios 14 of course it will make your life much much easier automations are really cool i believe it's one of the most underrated features of ios maybe a lot of people don't really understand them and of course don't use them at all but of course having these kind of automations on your device will make a few tasks really simple and of course you can do them really quickly so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one